Yo, what's going on, everybody? Jason Trio here, Vitrio.com. Today is Monday, April 19th, 2021. Good morning. So, bro, I just got into my first Splinterlands brawl. Just had a brawl. Oh, yeah, we did. Take a look here if I can find it. Where that shit at, bruh? All right, here we go. So the brawl, I'm still not 100% sure what it is, but I think it's uh, a 24-hour period where guilds can just brawl. You get into this arena area, the combat stage, and you just make teams within a 24-hour period, and then you just battle against people. So still pending a couple... Looks like two, two battles pending. So far, I went three and two. You know, not bad, not bad. A little unfortunate though. I wanted to do better. I wanted to smack some dudes, but I lost to this leaks and green thumbs. They smacked me around. And uh, there's also rules too. Like this is a bronze league. Like, bruh. So all cards are playable as far as like gold and, and regular foils, but it's bronze league. So the highest summoner is level three for common, level two for rares, level two for epic and level one for legendary. So it's super little dudes. It's like level threes, level ones level twos i kind of wish it was champion or whatever the highest leagues but it's still cool so there we go doing some brawls i like it i like that splinter lands is making some new things you know we got the land coming out we got the brawls coming out what's the land at 47 all right it's going down people are buying i want to get some bad here but I don't know will i a thousand i need slp to pump slp is not doing anything great slp is bullshitting 900 rank number 900 on coin gecko it's up slightly 1700 vitalics but come on i need that shit to be dude i thought it was going to be up into here like a hundred thousand vitalics that was my prediction. Was it ever that high in Ethereum? 80,000. So the highest it was 81,000 Vitalics for small love potion. And now it's just like, bro, it's gone. That's when everybody sold out. They were like, oh, that's our cue. And they dumped. Also, Bitcoin had a little dump too. You had to buy the dip, bro. Who got in there and bought the dip? That shit dipped down to, I think it was 5,200. Ooh, 53. 53.5. 53,500 Bitcoin dip too. And, uh, hey, you know? I'm not mad at it, dude. You know, I was like, you know what? I got a little extra dry powder. Let me slide up in here. Where'd I, where'd I slap in? 55.1. I got in about 55.1. So it's up now 56.7. And hey, be a hundred grand before we know it. Be 400 grand before we know it. And be a million dollars before we know it. Be multiple million dollars before we know it. You know, I'm still living in 2017, it feels like, where I'm like putting off to the future. I'm like, all right, let me just crack down. Let me just focus and I'll do this thing till 2021. And it's weird that it's 2021 now. Like, oh shit. How did it go from 2017 to 2021? I gotta like look back and be like, what did 20... Did 2018 happen? 2019? 2020 happen? All them years happened? 
It's kind of weird when you change your mindset, shift your mindset, and you focus on the future. How fast the present can can just go by. Now that might be a bad thing too. I I, I do want to live in the present. I don't want to be putting everything off to the future, but I think sometimes in your life, you have to do that to get to where you want to go. If you just YOLO and live in the moment, you might not build a better future for yourself because you're not looking forward. So I don't know. You know, I'm still trying to figure all this shit out myself. Let's take a look at Hive here. Hive's okay. 900 sets. Still not great though. And uh, that's it. Like, that's all we're doing. We ain't doing shit else. That's why uh, I'm kind of like, uh, am I going to spend $1,300 on a on a, uh, a tract here? Or am I just going to fucking get Bitcoin? It's hard because Bitcoin is like a magnet that sucks you. It sucks you to it. Like a fucking vortex or some shit. It's a black hole. And it's hard when you when you when you see something that's so valuable and grand to really fuck around with anything else. I, I still do a little bit, you know, I still fuck around with some other things, but with a thousand dollars, you know, that's kind of serious for me. It's kind of a decent amount of money, a thousand bucks. <laughs> I don't know. And then what? You know, I just got this hive signer, hive keychain, whatever this shit is. This keychain thing up here, hive keychain. Because apparently Splinterlands put something in. I was buying cards on the market and it was like, yo, you need fucking you need to put your your private key in or or you need hive key signer some shit. So I was like, all right, I got to I guess I got to do hive key signer whatever the fuck it's an extension that holds your keys how secure is that i don't know you know i put all this money into splinterlands and then i could lose it i guess <laughs> can i i don't know i already got like 10k worth of cards here let's see where's the splinterland shit all right here's splinterlands uh there's one of these things in the discord where you can look at what your shit's worth where the hell is that shit at bot headquarters voters huh yeah here we go all right uh stats 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 vitrio all right here's what it's saying my stats are my value, my card value is approximately $13,247. And three cents. So, hey, that's pretty good, dude. Now I'm about to put another, what, $1,300 on top of that? Get me up to like $15,000? Yo, bruh! In a card game? That's a lot, man. That ain't bad. Here's somebody. 11. No, that's only 1,000. Bad reaction to this. <laughs> it's funny. Put the eyes on it, dog. All right, so I also did some other stuff. I bought. I was, I've was. i been buying shit, dude. I've been buying shit in Splinterlands. I know I showed in a video... Uh, the spending spree, Spl Splinterland spending spree. But I was doing some more shit. I was buying more reward cards, dude. Reward cards, for some reason, I like reward cards. I think they're good. I think they're undervalued. I think it's the the value that you get for reward cards. They're very good. They're extremely limited. I don't think people realize how limited the reward cards are because you get them for free. You get them for rewards. But once they're gone, they're gone. And they're just cheap. They're good cards for cheap. So I, I'm a, I like that shit. I like the reward cards. So I just maxed out this dude, Kretsch. My boy, Kretsch. Telever. Dragon Summoner for three. 
mana he doesn't give you any any boost here but i was thinking like look i can use this guy on silent summoners so now i can use a dragon summoner on silent summoners and not lose the summoner's ability because he don't have one the only thing that that kind of bugs me about this card card is selenia sky why the hell is selenia sky three mana and she gives plus one range attack yeah she's a legendary is that why okay but still bugs the shit out of me this guy's an epic three mana he don't give no boost so but whatever i picked him up i think it was like 50 cents a piece and uh whatever i went i went with it he he's still there's tons of him he's only like 50 percent print run but i still went on him and got his ass also picked up this kelp initiate two mana no attack cleanse and triage for the magic splinter decent you know i just seen it out there i was like you know what i'm gonna go for it let me just scoop it up let me pick it up i maxed out a grim reaper he's got oppress affliction and pierce pretty good card pretty good card and actually just now i, I maxed out this glory dax soldier somebody had it up there for I think it was like six cents. He had like 70 of them up for six cents. And I was just like, yo, okay, I got to get him. And he's been going for like nine, 10 cents. Somebody going to give me 70 of them. It was like 74 BCX for like five bucks. I think this guy's good too. Oppress another one, two oppresses. He's going to be good with Daria. I think I could roll Gloridax. I wish he was four mana. That would be sick. But I can roll Gloridax with the Manticore and a couple opportunity monsters, maybe a couple sneak monsters. And you can see what I'm doing, bro. I am crushing my dark energy crystals down to 10k from 119,000 down to 10,000. We have done it. You be spending. And we did. <clears throat> we spent all right that's it that's all i did everything else you guys know about we done did that getting a couple battles here a couple splinter lands battles on a sneak quest and spring dude is spring here i think spring is here it's starting to warm up outside it's a nice ass day today warming up sun's coming out flowers are blooming everybody feeling good who's feeling good all right we need sneak opportunity and heavy hitters but we need a sneak dude right or do we not do we just want to run i think my new thing or my idea is i'm gonna play tanks so opportunity all monsters have the opportunity ability and when they do that we run in tanks we're just running a bunch of fucking tanks, dude. Where's all my homies at? Boom, boom, boom. All my homies are coming out to play. All the homies. And here we go. This is how we do it. Everybody crunch. Does it matter the order? I'm not sure because if everybody's got opportunity, cockatrice. Is on the menu. After this furious chicken goes down, we'll see about that. No healer though. We got a bunch of tanks with no heals. This other dude keeps emailing me like, yo, bro. Why don't you do something? I hate the people that work that are just like the dudes that just can't do shit for themselves and they're just relying on everybody else. Like, I, I'm uh, trust me, I'm not afraid to tell you that you got to do that shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers want to just be like, hey, bro, uh, this is happening. Can you do something about it? Like, no, dude, you can do something about that. Stop fucking coming to me. He's always like shortcutting. This dude's like a fucking manager too. Like always shortcutting shit. Like, no, bitch, you do that shit. 
Oh, you need help with that? Go ahead. Go ahead. But it's all about like professionalism and telling people how to get shit done in a nice and professional way. Like you kind of like beat around the bush a little bit instead of just saying, no, bitch, you do that shit. You got it. You got to say something professionally. Be like, oh, yeah, it's happening to me. Uh, like, like you see you. It's kind of like you flip it back on them. You suggest ideas back to them. Like, oh, yeah, it happened to me. I tried that, too, but it didn't work. Yeah. Ooh, it's like everyone wants to do that. They want to push the buck. They don't want to have responsibility. They just want to sit around and be like, oh, can you fix that? Like, no, motherfucker, you can fix that shit. All right. If you want it fixed, fucking fix it. Of course, I can't say that shit, but I want to. Shit, when's Bitcoin going to a million, bro? Then I can say that shit. I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. The fuck you always crying about? This motherfucker crying all the time, bitch. Shut your trap, boy. The fuck? Don't you dare talk to me like that. But it's a balance, too. You know, I don't want to be irresponsible or selfish or ungrateful you know so you don't want to be too hard on motherfuckers you still want to you still got to have that balance dude life man fucking life dude welcome to life welcome to life man how you doing you feeling good in life or what how's life treating y'all man gotta stay positive dude you know i talk all this shit and uh i do mean it i do mean it but it's like uh it's joking like i'm joking around in my professional life in my in my professional whatever i don't act like this but it's funny to joke about it and that's a skill too man that is a fucking skill to be able to articulate your thoughts in a professional way and get what you want you know we're because because if you're just a fucking doormat people are just going to keep asking you asking you asking you you're not going to know how to handle these motherfuckers that are that are expecting and asking you for a shitload of shit all right we're going to get scraped here you, you know you're not gonna know how to handle it. you're just gonna fucking like snap on these dudes one day because it builds up so your whole life is just gonna be doing for others like yes if someone asks you to do something you're gonna do it you really don't have the skill to come up with like a counter argument or a counter idea and just be like no you know you're not saying no but you are saying no in such a way in a roundabout way like can 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 you work with them to fix that like no no i can't buddy like can can you do anything or do you just fucking not do anything like there's there's tons of people like this i've encountered tons of people that just don't feel like doing shit you know they're they're always when you're trying to set something up they're always looking for a way that they could do the least amount of work and you you know you just have to set it's like where do you draw the line you have to set the boundaries and where do you where do you set the line you know it's a skill to be able to talk to people and set expectations with them <laughs> and once you start doing it people will be like okay you know they're, they're not going to come to you asking you these stupid questions these stupid things can you do this hey bro can you get my coffee for me no the fuck hey while you're out dude nah bro fuck you even talking about son you fucking crazy so anyway screw that shit right ready to fucking go bro that's what I say about Bitcoin too, man. It's the ultimate fuck you money. You could just say that to people like, bro, fuck your ass. 
It's beautiful. And actually, I was just watching a, a Uriah Hall video where he was like uh, saying that people, no one gives a fuck about you. People are, are disrespectful or they're nice to you and this and that. But at the end of the day, they don't give a fuck about you. And it's true, you know? People put on a show like it's like this whole woke shit that we got going on here. Don't nobody give a fuck. People want to make money and do for themselves. And if that means that they have to pretend that they care about somebody else, then that's what they're going to fucking do, son. That's what they're going to fucking do. Damn, this dude, Yoko dude, is nasty. Ow! Straight losing. That's two in a row. Splinterlands. Oh, no, no. We getting smacked. So that's why I like Bitcoin, because you can just say, dude, you know, fuck out of here, dude. I got my money and I can do what I want with it. No one can stop me. Got a problem with that? Oh, well, I didn't do it. You know, you got you could just deny that shit. I didn't do it. That wasn't me. Nope. Nope. No one can stop it. That's why we need fungibility in Bitcoin. We really do. Where's the fungibility? Because we need it. We need the fungibility, dude. We definitely do. Because now, you know, you got people talking about this Bitcoin is tainted. This one was used for this. We could see where it went. We could see this. We could see it was used for this or that. Or it was mixed, right? Oh, that was in a mixer. We see that you put that in a mixer. So we can't have that shit. We cannot have that shit. Every Bitcoin has to equal the same Bitcoin. You know, one Bitcoin equals one Bitcoin. Fungibility has to be there. How can we get that with the transparent blockchain? You know, I don't know. Right now, the answer is mixers, but that's not going to work unless every fucking body mixes. Like every coin has to be mixed. Then, yeah, then it could work. If there's some sort of... Uh, whatever like mixing service where before a transaction goes it's just like best practice just to mix your shit that would be cool then that would work so yeah I, I was gonna play the lord here but on enrage I didn't think the, the lord was gonna work come on shark the fucking shark won't stop missing dude man put the flying dude in the back and it worked alright we're, we're on a three loss skid here skid it out Yeah, like, uh, yeah, being a parent too, you know, trying to teach this type of shit to your kids and trying to stay in balance where you want to do good, you know, you, but joke comedy is just funny. You know, that's, it's funny to me to just talk shit. That's why I think comedy will save us, dude. Comedy will fucking save us. This whole woke bullshit that's going on. Comedy will save us from that shit. You just got to joke about shit. And if people get offended, hey, you know what? That's okay. It's all right. But just because you're getting offended by the joke doesn't mean you have to, like, I can't say it. Or somebody can't say it. That's, that's what's going on right now. Everybody's trying to stop people from saying what's offensive. But the problem with that is, who's deciding what's offensive, you know? You're sitting here saying, oh, you're offensive if you say fuck or whatever. That's offensive. Okay, well, I think the word offensive is offensive. Where do we, this word, it goes back to where do we draw the line? Who's the judge? Who decides what words are, are offensive? What things can and cannot be said? That's the problem. When you have people deciding that, then it's just corruption. People are corrupted. People have ulterior motives. People have different ideas. So if you're just going to fucking run it like that, Nah, dude. Nah, you can't. You fucking can't, dude. That's why Bitcoin's the best, dude. It's the best because nobody can say fucking shit about it. You can suck out these nuts, bruh. 
You say that. Yeah, I need a I need big dogs. I need big dog. I can't be wrong with these little dogs here. I need big dogs. And I need slow ass dudes too. I'm sure we're gonna face the Lord. That's why I was picking up oppressed dudes. Because of the Lord. You know we're gonna face the Lord. Every which way you turn, you're facing the fucking Lord, dude. The Lord. So I gotta get oppressed dudes. Am I am I just gonna run a sneak, dude? I guess, right? We're on a sneak quest. Run it! Cue it up! Do it the hell up, dude. Go. Slow. And here we go. We're running Cretch, dude. Cretch! Silent summoners. But we don't care. We're running Dragon. We got a three mana summoner. Oh boy, Cretch. He's out here. He's out here doing his thing. He's playing Splinterlands. Oh, and he's up against a four mana Doria. See? Normally I would run that, but I gained one mana. By doing it like this and look at this dude man look at this guy triple fucking dudes look at this guy and a healer but you know what we're running we're also running the mushroom dude we're also running a mushroom seer bro we got silence the summoners are silence and the magic dudes are silence oh we missed all right but one thing that we have that our opponent doesn't have is this right here affliction bro we cooking it up in the kitchen with the goblin chef he's cooking it up in the kitchen let's go baby cooking it right on up you ain't healing dog i know you got the baby there you got the wood nymph she's freaky as hell but come on can we can we afflict anybody we can't even afflict nobody though what's the chances of that 50 percent well, we got plan B, though. If that don't work, we're beating him up in the back with the big old sandworm. Damn, we, we still couldn't get affliction on this dude. Not that it matters. We're wrecking dudes. All right, well, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Later.